Doctor Who Series 4 is the third and final series to start David Tennant as the 10th Doctor and I'm very excited to give you guys my review for this series. Be sure to check out all my reviews for the previous series of Doctor Who as well be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this review. For me, series four of Doctor Who was fantastic. I think for me, it is the best series of modern Who. I love this series. I think David Tennant is once again great as the 10th Doctor. And in this series, they bring in Donna for the companion. And I think she is definitely one of the best companions out of the whole history of Doctor Who. Her dynamic with the 10th Doctor is great. And one thing that I really liked is with the dynamic between those two, they've removed the more sort of romance the doctor sometimes has with his companions because that was an issue that i sometimes had with some of the previous companions while they were good i found some of that romance stuff just unnecessary and i liked this where they're more just friends i thought that was great i'm glad they went that way and their dynamic is great donna is a lot of fun in this series and as for the episodes in this series, I love the episodes in this. Even the ones that other people aren't as big on, like the Doctor's Daughter or the two-parter with the Suntarans, I really enjoy them. They're, you know, not the best episodes, but I have a lot of fun with them. But this series also has some of the best episodes of Doctor Who, at least modern Doctor Who, with The Silence of the Library, The Forest of the Dead, uh, Midnight, the finale of this series, I thought it was great. All those episodes I thought were amazing and I enjoy it the whole time. They bring back a lot of characters from the previous series of Modern Doctor Who, which was great. Also, the finale of this brings back Davros, who this was the first time we see him in Modern Who. He was the creator of the Daleks. So I thought he had a great sort of reintroduction into Modern Who because it had been quite a while since he appeared in even classic who i can't remember which was the actual final time he was seen which uh, season it was but it had been a while it was great to see him back i enjoyed seeing him and he got other characters you got the previous companions that are able to bring rose back in you got mickey you got captain jack they even bring uh, sarah jane smith back in that was exciting i found the fana finale of this very exciting and like I said, a lot of other episodes were great. This series introduced River Song and sort of set up that dynamic that she was gonna have with future Doctors. I thought that was great as well. Honestly, there's not much other than great I can say about this series because there's not really anything in particular that really stands out that I disliked. Some episodes weren't as good as others, but I still found them very enjoyable. And after series four there was a bunch of specials with the 10th doctor i sort of clumped those with series four sort of the series four epilogue if you would um for me you know how i give scores my score for the series is the same with or without those episodes so i'm going to just include them anyway i enjoy all those episodes for me i think the weakest one was the next doctor but it was still fun but i enjoyed them i thought they were fun to finale where the 10th Doctor regenerates. Not quite as strong a finale as the main finale to series four, but I thought it was still really good. I thought the master was great in that. And the, when the regeneration happened, I thought it was great, very emotional. I definitely felt a lot more emotional with the regeneration of the 10th Doctor over the 9th Doctor. I think part of that was due to having more time with the 10th Doctor and also think they were able to build up the regeneration a bit more this time around so it felt a bit more like an event but also more emotional. I thought it was handled very well. He got to sort of see his companions one last time before he regenerated. I thought it was done very well and yeah I just really enjoyed this series. It started very strong with uh, partners in crime when the doctor and Donna meet up again because she had appeared once before in series three and what the scene where they sort of meet up again was actually really funny because uh, the doctors like on this conveyor lift on the outside of the building looking into this office and Donna's inside the building uh, behind a door looking through the window and they see each other and they're sort of mouthing a conversation to each other and it was a really funny scene i thought it was a great way to bring those two characters back together also i just remembered i want to give a mention for the final episode with the 10th doctor 
Uh, it had one of my favorite characters of Wilfred. He was just like a lovable character. I really liked him in this. You see him a bit throughout, but he had more to do in that final episodes with the 10th Doctor. I thought he was a great addition. And for me overall, this was a great series. I've said it many times in this review, but it, I do think it was great for me. The main series for the first half of it, the episodes for me were very good or great. And then the second half, the episodes were just like top tier Doctor Who. And then the specials for me sort of ranged uh, in the same quality area uh, as the rest of series four. So yeah, it had a lot of highs. There was no real low, like the lowest episodes were just for me not I don't consider them low because they I didn't think they were bad or anything. They were still very good. I had fun with them. Even uh, the doctor's daughter, which I know a lot of people don't really like, but for me it's like it's I think it's really good. So yeah, that's sort of my general thoughts on series four Doctor Who and my general thoughts is that it's great. That's what I kept saying throughout this review, but I do really enjoy it. Like I said, I think it's my favorite series out of modern Doctor Who. So yeah, for me, I'm going to give Doctor Who Series 4 a 95%. If you guys have seen this series, be sure to let me know what you thought about it as well. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and be sure to stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. And until my next video, take care everybody.